New tonight, a plane making an emergency landing at Willard Bay. The World War II aircraft just flew in the air show this weekend, and today it gave boaters an unexpected encore. News specialist Andrew Adams has the story. On a summer's day, Willard Bay sees no shortage of seafaring vessels. There's some uh, jet skis, wave runners, and lots of boats, usually. But tonight... Yeah, we were like, what is that? It wasn't exactly a boat being pulled from the lake. That is the first time I've ever seen a plane out here on the water. <laughs> the harbor was far from the intended destination. Yeah. <laughs> for a plane that had made a stop at this weekend's air show. So this aircraft is a PBY 5A. This one was built in 1943 and it fought in World War II in the North Atlantic. In 1944, this one actually does have a confirmed sub kill. It sunk U-boat 342. Uh, we came out here today to do a touch and go on the water out here before we went back to Oregon and had a small mechanical failure. One of the gear doors let go and then the other one right after it. And they punched a hole in the aircraft as they were torn away. As a result, the owners say the plane took on water and had to coast into the bay. Oh yeah, there's no injuries, everyone's okay. It was just a bit scary for those who were on board. Koi Faf says it won't be easy to find replacement parts. I'd love a couple weeks, but realistically we're looking at a couple months. Meaning this seabird will continue to be a sight here in the days to come. It's going to be expensive and it's going to take some time, but we'll get flying again. That's the goal.